Hi, I'm, I'm Jan Bernard. I'm, I have an art studio out at Hunter's Point. And um, I paint mostly in oils, but I studied Japanese art when I was at UC Berkeley with Chiro Obata. And uh, I've always liked the way that watercolor flows and everything, but I like the permanence of oil painting and the fact that it's more controllable. So uh, uh, I paint, I start my paintings in, in a child's wading pool in my backyard and I float oils in, in different mediums on the top of it and I stir it up and get the colors the way I want and then I dip the canvas in it. I flip the canvas over very quickly because if I don't, everything runs off of it. So I'm very lucky to get a picture, but occasionally I do. And this is, um, I call this painting Seven Falls, Arizona, because uh, it, it, it reminds me of a, of a place I hiked out to when I was in, uh, in um, Tucson, Tucson, Arizona. And you hike out to where the, in, the seven pools where the Indians used to have curative uh, purposes of some sort. Um, and so uh, uh, I call this one Greenland. Uh, I flew over, over Greenland in 1966 uh, when they did the polar flights. And uh, years later when I painted this, it kind of reminded me, I saw this in some of the images I got out of my wading pool. Uh, I, call, I call this one Gaia. Gaia, which is um, the Earth, the, the goddess of Earth or Mother Earth. And um, I think it's rather timely now. I think artists frequently are painting things that are timely. Um, uh, I think a lot of artists are doing things that have to do with the environment and uh, global warming now. I think this is something that's in a lot of people's minds. Uh, this is a, a painting of myself about 20 or 25, 30 years ago. Uh, and uh, I knew somebody that, that was interested in astrology. So I painted myself as a self-portrait with an astrological um, theme in it that shows the colors uh, on various parts of my body, etc., that are called to mind by, by my chart and how everything was, um, how everything, how everything fit into my body uh, as far as the color that they uh, are called for on, on different uh, signs. Um, th this is a this is a painting that I did when I was coming uh, down H Highway One many years ago, and uh, at the, I mean I didn't paint it many years ago, but I saw it many years ago. Uh, I, I looked outside the the car, and I saw this big this steep hill with sheep and rocks of about the same color and size, and then I saw saw cliffs above. So when this occurred in my in, in, in the backyard pool, um, in the, the shapes, I just utilized them to put in uh, the painting of that memory. Um, oh, this, this painting, um, I call it World Superimposed. I dis did this a long time ago. It's, it's part of my nuclear series. And I was just thinking of um, after, after mankind blows up the world or whatever they do with, with nuclear, then there, things will be on a different on different planes, and uh, it was just an uh, exploratory uh, thing that I did. There's here's another one that's kind of interesting. This one is called um, well, it, it well it's it started out as sort of reincarnation or spirits, um, and um, and and various lifetimes that one might go through if you if you believe in reincarnation. Uh, all of these things are sort of interesting, these ideas. Do you want to see anything else? I could do this one. Yeah, let's talk about that. Okay. This, this, painting, this painting I call Persephone. And uh, I, was, I was thinking about the people in ancient Greece looking up at the, looking up at the, the stars or the sky or whatever, Roman Greece, whatever. And they would see figures and they would see gods and goddesses, and anyhow, Persephone is is the is the goddess who was the uh, the, the daughter of Demeter, Demeter, mm -hmm. and she was imprisoned by by Pluto and taken down to Hades, and that's why we have our our winter because uh, because her mother became so sad, and she was the she was the goddess of growth and 
summer, etc. Hi, I'm Lynn, and you asked me what drives my art. Hmm. Uh, it's my way to try to connect with you, for one thing. Um, and it seems to be a, a service that I have to give. Um, and I'm trying for a bit of empathy here. Not everybody's going to like my work. Not everybody likes anybody's work. It's just how it works. But, but when it does, it's so exciting. It's kind of like, how does, that, how does that happen that we connect this way? Um, and then right now, what I'm interested in, in actually what I'm painting, is something beginningless and endless that's common to all of us. Um, so a lot of times it'll feel like what's happening between our breaths when we breathe, there's a little gap. So I, in fact, I even have a painting. I'll go get it right here. And this is actually called Between Breaths. Okay, so even like, that's almost like a sunset or a horizon. It has that same feeling to me. It's like before and after, but mostly the in-between. And even between our thoughts, there's a little gap. And so this is like what's happening between thoughts. And also, if you'll notice, I'm not painting the Grand, Grand Canyon. Nothing majestic is happening here. It's almost like we're driving along and we get a glimpse out of our car and we go, oh, and it's that. I want to paint that, oh, that's what I'm trying to do. And of course, the minute we see that, oh, we think, I'll bet it's better one mile down the road. <laughs> we okay. just think that. I'll just go bit a little faster. It's going to even be better. Eh. So I'm hoping that people have my art in their homes and they'll be able to walk by it in six months, in six years, and go, oh, and see something different, see something new, and like that.